we have the basic formula over here that is y is equal to x raised to n which is nothing but n x raised to n minus 1. This is the most commonly used formula. Suppose I have a function y is equal to 4. Uh, let's take a simple thing. We will take two constants later on. y is equal to x cube. So compare this with this. It's like telling y is equal to x raised to 3. So n over here is 3. So in that case dy by dx. We also call it as f dash x is nothing but n x that is 3 into x raised to 3 minus 1 that is 3 x squared. So it's a very simple formula, most elementary formula. Of course, how this has been derived with, I'll just give you a hint, the previous section where we did about how uh, f of x plus delta x minus delta y upon delta x as delta x tends to 0. We, using the same first principle, this has been derived. But we need not have to delve too much into the derivation because now we are going to do more with the concept of applying these formulas. Another very important thing is suppose you want to find the derivative of a constant say 5. Now derivative of a constant will always be 0. Right? Now suppose you want to find a combination of derivative of a constant multiplied by a variable. In that case, this the constant can be taken out. You can write it as 6 times d by dx of x squared. Right? So, this will turn out to be 6 into using the same formula nx that is 2x raised to 2 minus 1. So, this will turn out to be 12x. So, when you are finding the derivative of a constant, suppose of an expression you have in the final the expression, the final one is a constant. When you find the derivative, that derivative, we take it as, uh, that particular constant's derivative is 0. On the contrary, if the product of a variable and a constant, the constant is taken out, commonly out. When we use quotient rule, we can use this also. You, you will be coming to know how the same thing is valid. But if you see 6x square, hence you get it as 6 into x square. So we get it accordingly, right? Then suppose it is y is equal to e raised to x, dy by dx is e raised to x itself into log e to the base e. This is a kind of a chain rule. And log e to the base e, log of any number to the same base obviously is 1. So ultimately if y is equal to e raised to x, so it will be e raised to x itself. So but suppose you have y is equal to e raised to 7x, will dy by dx also be equal to 7 e raised to 7x? No. Here we will rule another u. After you find this, we need to find the derivative of this also. Hence, it will be into 7. We will be coming across these cases later on. Now, suppose you have y is equal to a raised to x. Then how do you find the derivative? So, y is equal to suppose 5 raised to x. So, in that case, dy by dx. As I told you, we can even write it as f dash x will be a raised to x. That is a in this case is 5. So, 5 raised to x into log a to the base e. That is log 5 to the base e. We can leave it as log 5 itself. Log 5 to the base e. And on the contrary, suppose you have y is equal to log x. It is a logarithmic function. In that case, dy by dx will be just 1 upon x. So, derivative if the function is log x, dy by dx is 1 by x. Coming to the last one, which is a combination of these two. So, we have suppose y is equal to log a raised to x. So, here you have a raised to x and here you have log of a raised to x. Suppose I have log of 5 raised to x itself. In that case, you first dy by dx would be given as 1 by x. And it won't be log a to the base e, it will be log e to the base a. It will be log. Here we did log a to the base e. So changes over here. So if it is y is equal to a raised to x, it's just going to be the same thing you copy a raised to x into log of the base, 5 to the base e or log 5. On the contrary, if it is log y is equal to log of 5 raised to x, suppose log of 5 raised to x dy by dx is equal to 1 upon x into log e to the base 5. 
So these are the basic formulae which we shall be using again and again.